Hello world, I'm Alcap. Welcome back to Renowned Explorers International Society with the more to explore DLC. Uh, we are a team led by Charles Templeton, we have Harry Walker, we have Agatha von Brunswick with us, and we are heading for the Andean Adventure right now. So let's just get going. Andean Adventure. You made it to the mysterious Andes range. So far so good. Charles feels that getting here is already a great achievement. Navigating the mountains was extremely difficult even with a state-of-the-art blimp. What will we find here? But before the crew has time to orient themselves, a group of warriors finds them. Foreign intruders! They must come to top of our emperor! Get them! Whoa, whoa, whoa! No jumping to conclusions, please! Agatha is tactically prepared. Available because Agatha is a level 1 tactician. Wait, 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 wait! She's a level 2 tactician! Should she get better things? Okay, if we do this deviously, we get all kinds of good stuff because we have a bunch of those uh, dudes that make it easier for us to oh, give us more stuff from uh, winning battles in a devious way. Okay, so these guys are weak to being saddened. So we probably want to start with Harry here taking a shot because yeah, it won't kill these dudes. Uh, but wait, wait, wait! We could actually start with uh, yeah, Charles going over here, doing group insult, because insulting them makes them have less armor. And if I remember correctly, Charles even has a thing that even gives them even less armor. Yeah, now they have minus fifty armor. So probably now when yeah, at least the other one's gonna die when Harry shoots here. And. Uh, uh, you could lecture this fellow, but he's not going to... Oh, he's behind that uh, rough land there, so if we just come all the way here and lecture at this one... Oh, it's not still not going to go down. What about if we terrify? Yeah, terrify, this guy's going to go down, so let's terrify. Yeah, we're going to give you a C- for this, <laughs> this performance here. You're not very scary at all. Okay, and the turn here. Just gotta make sure that we don't do anything that is uh, aggressive here anymore. Uh, Agatha, you just come here, please. And uh, what did uh, Sadden give? I'm twenty-five percent speech. Okay, you just Sadden. Give him a lecture about how bad he is. Uh, Charles, you come here and you ride this dude out of here. Yeah, you get a table manners of a mangy dog, man. He doesn't, he can't take that. Like, he's got good table manners, he can't take it when his table manners are insulted. Oh, my feelings! These invaders will surely try to stage a coup against our glorious emperor and take our national treasures! We have to warn the imperial guard! Huh, an emperor that guards treasures. Interesting, to say the least. So, let's get this straight. There's an emperor who holds great national treasures. Judging by the aggression and defensive attitude of the warriors you just faced, that emperor is not very friendly. Maybe you should pay him a visit. Luckily, there are signs everywhere pointing towards the palace. I bet this is one big understanding. Let's talk to him. He sounds ruthless and oppressive. Let's pay him a visit. I'm just here for the treasure. Let's see if we can get him. Ah, he sounds ruthless and oppressive. Let's pay him a visit. Okay, so there is the place. You already know what to look for. The palace and the emperor. You're not sure what you're going to do there, but you know you have to be careful with the imperial guard. Now, time to go exploring. Okay, so the Andes are a very uh, peculiar kind of place, because I think you can uh, move between these cities here with just uh, paying something? I don't remember what you need to pay for. Also, what kind of... I think we have someone that says if we go to a particular kind of place we get something good. Nope, none of these guys say that. Okay, so we'll just go here for the challenge. A band of rebels is training in the jungle. They're quick to mock your foreign origin. Look at these weirdos! I bet they don't know nothing of jungle tactics and will be sitting ducks when attacked by the Imperial Guard. Well, the crew has nothing to prove that one rebel makes Charles think of Rivelo. Okay, mmm... Sure, you get quite a lot of stuff if you succeed, so let's use the tool here and have Agatha show some superior tactics here. Come on, Agatha, you can do it. Thank you, Agatha. Ha! Huh, those idiots 
thought you would fall back to caveman tactics, Agatha shows of her knowledge which leaves the rebels baffled. Compared to Agatha's expertise, those rebels look like cavemen themselves. Although the crew makes a point of not telling them that, that wouldn't do well in the society's sensibility committee. Right, uh, that would give us, going here would give us an extra supply, because uh, if we just finish this encounter here previously, so let's go do that. Ooh, more encounters. Your crew is enjoying the beautiful sights in these old and mysterious lands when suddenly Charles is knocked over by a bunch of running Inca, Incan warriors. They've gone mad! Run! What are they running from? Before Charles can get up, he's trampled by a small young llama and is badly hurt. Its family arrives at the spot, obviously enraged. They seem to think you're trying to steal their baby. Let's try it and calm them down. Okay, they're just uh, llamas. Uh, what are you? You are weak to being enraged. Well, that's nice. There's four of you. How fast are you? Pretty fast, it seems. Uh, how much damage does your piercing shot do? Not that much. Okay, Harry, you go maybe like here. Hang back and... Focus, so you can have more attack power and speech power next turn. Yeah, just focus, man. We're gonna have... Uh, uh, Alright, you guys don't actually... You have Terrify. You have the group insult, but I don't think... If we, even if we go here, you probably cannot... Yeah, you, know, you can't get this, so let's undo that move. I mean, you could deride this one. Yeah, let's just do that. I mean... Oh! You are also wounded to begin with, so it's a good idea, because this heals you. Right, Agatha... Uh, you could... Uh, you know what? I think you could just... Do it friendly here, like... They're... Uh, resistant to being impressed, but it doesn't matter. And... It'll... Make it so that we can use a couple more aggressive moves with Harry. So yeah, let's just uh, do some friendly stuff here. Llama's gonna go away. Yeah, we'll get two friendlies there, but it doesn't matter because the next thing we're gonna do is gonna be aggressive. So, end turn, please. Oh, the smaller enter doesn't seem to work here. I think it did, but I'm probably thinking about some other game where I played recently where I just used the smaller enter to skip the turn. Come on, stop, stop, stop spitting on us! Oh man, this is uh... They're doing quite a lot of damage. Okay, now we have the group insult for these guys. Okay, Harry, let's first of all see... Oh, is there any line where you can actually hit both of these dudes? Mm. Uh, maybe all the way here. Do you have the range from here? Oh. Damn it, it's so, it's so close! Mm, and if you go here... Yeah, cause... No, 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 I didn't mean to press that button. I need to press 4. Yeah, you can, and... You can't do it if you're adjacent to them, right? Yeah. Mmm, well that is unfortunate. Okay, we're gonna start with the group insult here for sure. And... Uh, Harry, you could just shoot these llamas. Ah! Did you get your piercing shot to go all the way here? Yes, you can! Good. Okay, and this should... Oh! No, 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 that might make us... Oh, yeah, that made us aggressive. Oh, bloody hell! Mmm, this is not good. Okay. Uh, scary gives you less attack power, mm, but you you don't have enough. Oh, you're running away! What? Coward! Okay, enrage him, and this should still put us back to devious. Hopefully. Yeah. Okay. Good. 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 So we're getting all the extra bonuses. Nice. And we broke the llama's minds. A llama herder arrives. Wow, thanks for saving our llamas. The soldiers just saw we're trying to take the young one. Llamas are incredibly valuable. Here, take this gold. The llamas look a bit sad though. What did you do? You're welcome. Time to go. 
Uh, okay, so we could go here. Mm, where can we? Where, where's? Wait, is this the city? No, that's the city. Go here to the city, or we just go here. Yeah, let's go this way. We still have quite a lot of supplies. Oh, there's another city over here. Maybe we'll just. Yeah, let's just head here and go to the city. I think you get some uh, clues from the cities as well as to what to do. You come across a small Incan patrol led by one of the fierce commanders. Fortunately, they haven't seen you yet, and the terrain has provoked some cover, but the group has spread out and is patrolling in complicated patterns. Agatha instantly recognizes the patrol pattern. Good. Agatha explains a way to make past the guard. She will move along one route, the rest of the crew should do the following. Wait for 10 seconds, run 50, 90 feet west, crouch 50 feet north. Agatha will go first. Alright, time to execute the plan. What was it again? Uh... Oh crap, I already forgot. Uh... Uh, maybe it was this one. The Incan patrol, no it wasn't. Spots you. The commander issues orders. Quickly, grab these spies before they can pose a threat to the glorious reign of the Emperor. Defend yourselves. And of course we're gonna try to do this deviously. Because that's just what we are. We're a devious bunch. You guys are weak to being saddened. And uh, yeah, so is your commander. Mm, but we probably want to wait for these guys to come closer before we do the group lecture. So what we really, really, really want to do here is... Uh, Let's get this guy down. Like, I'd really want to actually impress him first to make him weaker. Like, having less speech defense, then use. Uh, which one of you guys? Ooh, you're stronger in speech. Like, our diplomat is weaker in speech than our scout. What in the world? Okay, let's do that. Okay, we'll impress this guy first. And uh, then we'll have Harry enrage him. Oh, and that will be enough to get him out of here. Well, then we uh, let's see if we can have Charles uh, terrify him. Yes, okay, we can. Yeah, we'll... you you're gonna be so scared, man. Oh, he got confused, of course. Uh, what is? You can go all the way there. Okay, so uh, we're just gonna have Harry focus right now. What is this? Shocked! Minus 20 armor. Why are you shocked? Oh, it's 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 this thing, right? Okay, got sheep movement, you are focused, and we are a devious expedition. Yeah. Okay, next turn. Okay, and then we'll go and like sudden gave Negative speech, enraged gives negative armor. Oh, okay, uh, Agatha, you come here. You lecture these guys. Make them sad. Right, and then Charles, you come here. You do a group insult. And what would be really nice to do a piercing shot right now with Harry. That would make us uh, aggressive, so I don't want to do that. Instead, I'll just go here and try to see if I can enrage this guy out of here. Nope. Well, then I think I'm just going to enrage uh, one of these smaller dudes out of here. Ooh, Harry really shouldn't be on the front line here. Oh, you can actually go here because you have range 2 for this. Okay. Now you enrage 95? Okay, this guy would have had 106, so... I think that 95 was would have been enough to get even a full power. Ow! What are you guys hitting us for? With your weird weapons. Okay. Uh, Charles, you just deride this big fellow. Yep, yeah, and then I'm pretty sure if we just have Harry enrage him, he's going to... Oh, he's not going to go away. Well, we're still going to try. Maybe maybe we'll do a tiny bit more damage. Oh, we did a tiny bit more damage than the game was expecting us to do. And then we'll just terrify this last one out of here. Thank you. And we'll get all the good stuff. So much good stuff. 
With the patrol defeated, you can continue your adventure. Okay, and Agatha, you get a level. I think we're gonna give you more tactician, yes? Right. On, and let's head to this uh, town here. The city is ravaged, but its spirit is still strong. Rebels are training hard and villages are repairing their defenses. There are no Imperial Guards to be seen. A rebelling city. A veteran rebel leader greets you. This is Vilcabamba. You're safe from the Emperor here, travelers. We are the last city to actively, actively resist the clutches of our dictator. I am the rebel leader, Juana Capac. There are a few options for Charles to consider. Like, yeah, we could travel along the Andean road to another city. Can we help your cause? We could absolutely use the help of some seasoned adventurers. While spirits are still high, the Emperor has switched tactics. He is now looking to decorate the, desecrate the hero's relic, an important legendary item that embodies the people's resolve. You must find the hero's relic before the Imperial Guard does. Find the relic? Leave that up to us. Thank you so much. To be honest, we don't know exactly where the hero's relic is. Even worse, the Emperor doesn't seem to know. Our spies have located an Imperial search party. I will mark the location of the search party. If you go there, you're bound to find out more. Alright, continue. So they're over there, so we'd kind of like to get to that city there. Is there something else we can do? Uh, help fix the town defenses. The city could use some manpower to reinforce its defenses. We have control over silver mines, so the pay is pretty good. Work to gain four collect for one minus one supplies. No! We're not gonna spend our supplies for anything like that. Uh, so, so, okay, so we could travel along the roads. Ah, we can look at the map while we're doing this. Okay, what does the traveling along the road cost us to collect? Of course you can make use of a Llama Express to travel to other cities. Uh, let's travel to the jungle trade post. I think it's, yeah, it's this one. You are at a small trading post in the middle of the jungle. It's actually a pretty relaxing and nice place. A prosperous place. You are greeted by a wealthy trader. Welcome to our trading settlement. Here you can ho hop on a Llama and travel the lands quickly. Or you can trade some of those exotic goods for gold. There are a few options for Charles to consider. Uh, let's see if we can do work for supplies. Great idea! Can you... Ma can make you do explorer decorating errands for supplies? Can make you do explorer decorating errands for supplies? What? You get a lot of work! Okay, so we could buy supplies for resolve from here, but no thank you. Is there something else we can do for you? There are a few options for Charles to consider. Let's just uh, leave the training post right now, because we want to go over here. And then we could, uh, yeah, then we can go, come back, then travel here. If, once we travel here, we just can move here, here, check out this area, go over here. I would have thought that they would have given us a quest of some sort as well, but they do the supplies there. You find the search party looking for the hero's relic. The emperor has just addressed them and is about to leave. A hundred gold pieces for the man who brings me the burned remains of this relic. Don't let your glorious leader down. What a jerk. The Emperor and his entourage are about to return to the palace. Now is your chance to strike before they set out. Agatha is better prepared. Yay! Tactic per 2. Because we are level 3 tactician. Okay, so we need to be level 3 to get the second benefit. Good to know for future. And if we be friendly, we get some study, but <laughs> we get even more stuff if we were devious. Of course, we're going to be devious. We're going to be nothing but devious from now on. Okay, let's see. You guys are easily terrified, and you guys are easily scared, so, no, no, saddened, so probably gonna, ooh, what is this inspiring cause? Target become confident if positive, giving affects enemies within the target guild. It doesn't, oh, this is just the, the worst, I say. Why would I ever want to do this? Uh, okay, uh, you can, yeah, you can hit all of these guys, so hit all of them. Right, and uh, Charles, you come over here, and you group insult. Okay, and uh, Harry, you come here and enrage, uh, enrage. Uh, actually, which one of you guys is actually strong? Oh, guys, you're, you're so weak. Oh, uh, well, must be because of the group insult, because, yeah, it does quite a lot of negative um, stuff. Okay, so enraged that guy, he was a tiny bit stronger, so we get rid of him first. Oh. Just love the sounds of this <laughs> area, by the way. <laughs> like the sound these guys make, are just lovely. Ow! Ow! 
Bloody hell. Well, that was a nice miss there. Okay, so we really need to get... Wait, do you have anything that has range? You can, we can get you out of here. Actually, yes, we can. Uh, let's enrage this one. Out of here. Thank you. Then we'll move Charles over here. We'll have him terrify. Actually, uh, you were weak to terrify. Yes, uh, we'll just move Agatha here first and terrify this guy. Let's make sure, absolutely sure, that we can get him out of here. If we could. Oh, 90 damage. Crikey. And we'll terrify this one out of here as well. Yes, sending some chills down his spine. Charles is a scary man. Gets the bonus here. Agatha. I think Agatha's getting quite a lot of the bonus. You break their self confidence. Did you hear what Agatha said about my tunic? It's a proud heirloom that I got from my mother. <laughs> Go use that rag to wipe your tears, sucker. Now, where is the hero's relic? Take the map with the directions. Oh, we need to go all the way there for the hero's relic then. It seems the hero's relic is stashed away in the hero's tomb deep inside the mountains. A pretty uncreative place to hide it, but Charles guesses it makes sense. Your guess for the relic will probably end there. No time to lose. Time for another break. The crew opens a bottle and enjoys another drink. The atmosphere is right and the crew enjoys sharing stories. Alright, this is probably still part of the Agatha story. Oh, we got some uh, campaign from there. Okay, we could get... Uh... Okay, so this is the last place we want to head to, right? That's the end. So if we go here and then here, that's probably the best thing to do right now. Then we could just go going here, maybe here, here, here. Head to this city, ask what they have going on. Yeah, I th oh, that costs two, so I think it's better to go here, then here, and then here. Yeah, because this movement costs two. Okay, head it towards here. The crew accidentally trespasses on an angry herd of llamas. The odds are stacked firmly against you. There must be at least a hundred llamas. No way can you take them all on. You need to use a more diplomatic approach or run before you get drowned in llama spit. All crew members get minus 10 armor in this expedition. I was still gonna roll. Roll well. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah! Charles thinks the best way to get along with a llama is by being like a llama. Charles spits right in a llama's face. Ten minutes later, the crew finds himself covered in spit and hiding from a raging herd. Okay, hey, we got a new campfire story we can start. So, let's see, can we get something? Etiquette course. Crew member, all crew members gain diplomat etiquette perks. Do you have it, Charles? You have it, so I don't really think we want to give it to the other guys. Like, diplomat gives one speech and two speech defense, which actually would be kind of nice for everyone but then again this gives us three supplies yeah we're gonna keep this uh, we don't need that resolve thing we have four resolve uh, are you a level three tactician you are Ooh, we could get more campaign for the next <sighs> we don't need that three supplies right now so we're gonna keep these two and we're gonna play this one because Agatha is a level three tactician right now so He's gonna be using. He's gonna be using insight anyways, because we use insight to get research, and we're gonna use her for that. The combination of adventurous and a military background is especially impressive. Maybe that's something the crew can make use of. Agatha can imagine the sight of an adventurer general drawing a lot of attention when visiting cities. Okay. So let's head over here. You encounter a lonely villager, peacefully gathering food from the local plants. Charles approaches him and sees his trembling heavily. I'm sorry, but I don't... But if I don't warn the guards, they will hurt me! The villager runs away and warms some nearby guards. Well, let's be better prepared. Actually, I didn't even check what tactics prepared to gave us. Hey, friendly... Ah, oh, the villager might be grateful. Or the... You know what? We we don't have it in us. What it makes it and the things uh, friendly. So we're just going to have to. This for the first three turns. Yeah, we're just gonna have to be devious here. You can be saddened, but I don't want to use the sadden on you because there's a group of these guys coming. Uh, Harry, can you just enrage him out of here? Yes, you can. Uh, Charles, can you terrify him out of here? You can't. Agatha, can you terrify him out of here? 
You can't. Well, you guys are just gonna have to work together here. Oh, you could. Okay, nice. Uh, you're coming uh, there, so you probably cannot hit Agatha or Charles. Charles, go one step forward. Harry, go here and focus. Okay, and next turn. Oh no no no! I might, I gotta go and see if we can do a piercing shot for all of this. Yes, we can. Uh, can we get? Ah, oh, yes, we can. We can get back to being uh, devious after this one. So, Harry, get rid of those two guys there. Mmm, the damage, massive. Right, uh, Agatha. That gives my speech. Uh, you start with the. Wait, wait, what is the enrage give us? I always forget. Negative armor. Okay, we're not gonna be attacking them next, so let's do the enraged group insult first, and then Agatha, you'll do the lecture. And wow! That is enough to get rid of them. And nice. We broke their mind, as we always do. Charles gets the pluses, nice. Ooh, Charles gets a level as well. The guards' serious military expressions break and they start crying uncontrollably. The villager is trembling even harder than before and passes out. Alright, Charles, what can you do? You could get diplomat customs or survivalist spotting. Did we have a uh, entourage for either of those? No, we have rogue, we have archaeologist, we have tactician. Hmm. What does this give you? Uh, diplomat gives speech and speech defense. Survivalist gives grit. Uh, survivalist is so nice though. I think I'll take the survivalist perk. We'll make Charles into more of a survivalist here. Right, so we still have seven supplies left. Let's see. So this is the town. Go one, two takes three to get to here. One, two, three. If we go here, I'm gonna go here and here. Now I'll go here just to scout out a little bit more of this area. What a mysterious place. The air is heavy and the jungle feels more eerie. The crew doesn't find anything interesting besides some bones and quickly moves on. Also we can get some supplies from here so that's just a very very good. You f a field full of guava trees, and they're bearing fruit. The crew collects as much as they can for supplies. Okay, so... Which way to go? I mean, I'd really like to go here as well. But it's gonna cost us two supplies, so let's just go here and here, and then from here we'll go to the, that city and see if we can find something interesting from there. Supplies over there. While exploring a new area, you suddenly hear a stern voice is be behind. Halt! Cooperate and hear us. You will bow to your great leader and he will be pleased with your devotion to your capture. These disciples are as cool as ice. Agatha is better prepared. Right. And of course we want to be devious here once again. You guys are weak to being saddened, all of you. Uh, should we just go this way? Sadden all of this. And then we'll go and... Charles run this way. Oh, Charles, you're too far. You can't get to them. Ah. Then you, Charles, probably need to group insult this. These guys here. Oh, man. I should have planned this better. Mm, Agatha might get. Uh, unfortunately, you know. All these guys will probably attack her. She doesn't have that much defense, so she might go down. Let's hope that she doesn't. Uh, we'll group insult. Oh. I was thinking about group insulting and then uh, shooting them with the piercing shot. But that might kill them both, which will make us be aggressive, which will get rid of our grit. And grit is one of the things I think will help us here right now. Uh, let's just try to get rid of... 
these guys. Can we get rid of that smaller guy? Probably could. Can we just... If we do ride here, what if we terrify? Okay, I think with the deride and enrage from Harry here, we can get rid of this guy. Right, and deride. I do the group insult to make. Ah, the deride will get us rid of this. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, let's hope that they don't gang up on. Well, they're gonna gang up on Agnes, but let's hope that. Uh, uh, mm. Let's hope that they don't hit too hard. Okay, they don't hit too hard. And come on, one of you guys has to miss. Uh, one of you guys has to miss. Oh, thank you for missing. And yeah, Charles can take the damage. He's a tough man. Okay. Now, Harry, you run all the way here. You did take the piercing shot. Could you hit all of them? Oh, you can! Nice. Do that. Oh! Wow, I did not hit that one. I'm pretty sure I hit that one as well. Uh, Charles, please come here and can you group insult? Oh, no, you can't. But, well, Agatha can get rid of... This is the bigger threat, so get rid of this one. Okay, so I didn't think they really have a chance against us here anymore. Uh, you just uh, terrify this one. Okay, that's good, 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 good. Yeah, you'll just... Oh, you missed! Too bad for you. Oh, another miss! Nice! That 25 grit really helps. Okay, uh, get rid of this fellow here, please. And Harry, you uh, enrage this one out of here. Hey, Harry got a level. We now see that true devotion requires patience. We will come back for you. What a lame excuse. You see them running with their tails between their legs. Hey, Harry. Harry, Harry, Harry. Uh, we wanted to make you... Which we make you into a big guy? Like, we are, you are already a rogue level 4, and this guy here wanted you to be only a level 4 rogue. Yes. So, sure, we'll make you into a big guy. Uh, as well, give you even more speech power. Rogue would give you more attack power. We don't really need to have more attack power. Yeah. Will make you into a big, more of a big guy, right? And then, uh, where were we going for? Oh, there's supplies there, right, 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 right. So we're gonna get there. Okay, here, 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 here. There's probably enough for us to check around here. Okay, but uh, let's get to this unexplored spot over here. After following the map you got from the Imperial Search Party, you managed to traverse the Labyrinth of Mountain Pass to find the Hero's Tomb. Charles can just feel it. this is going to be a very dangerous ins investigation. Inspector Sight! There is a lot of work to do. Is it really worth moving all those boulders? Uh... Oh man, minus two supplies if we fail! Oh! Well, we gotta try this for sure. I mean, we're not gonna leave a treasure behind just because, you know, it's gonna cost us some supplies. Oh man, this might leave if this... Drat, such hard work. The whole crew has been moving boulders the whole day, but there are still many boulders to shift. It's gonna take a lot more work to get through. We are not there yet. If it's gonna cost us more supplies, it's gonna be horrifying. There is a lot of work to do. Is it really worth moving all these boulders? God damn it! We just gotta do it! I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna leave a treasure behind! I just can't, it's, it's not in me, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, Oh, yes, thank you. You break through. It's been hard work, but with the combined strength of the crew, you find an entrance. Awesome, let's go. The tomb is dark, dusty, and moldy. Agatha has to cover her mouth to prevent herself from fainting. With a lit torch, the crew navigates the elaborate tomb. Rubble and fake walls are prevalent. Continue. You continue the explore down the tomb. The air is getting heavier, and the corridors are getting narrower. Go on. 
The corridor is getting too narrow. One crew member must squeeze through first. Charles argues the traps are the most obvious threat, something for a quick thinker to solve. Agatha argues that these tombs are guarded by spirit guardians. A beguiling charmer might be better, might barter for a safe passage. With these ideas in mind, Charles is at who will go first. Well, Harry Gold will, will go first then, because once again we don't have any quick thinkers and Harry is a beguiler. Harry squeezes through the narrow entrances ahead of the crew. In order to avoid getting trapped altogether, Harry scouts the next area alone. Suddenly, something happens. Uh oh! A spirit guardian stands before Harry. He stops Harry from moving forward. This is the tomb of the Andean hero. What gives you the right to trespass on these sacred grounds? Why would the hero allow you to visit his grave? And Harry is going to succeed in this because Harry is awesome. The spirit guardian carefully agrees. Mmm, yes, you are quite handsome and charming. Everyone knows charming people are cool. Please, go ahead. Harry can pass. Awesome! Call the crew to continue. The crew regroups and continues. The hero's tomb must be really close now. Maybe behind that passage. There it is, the hero's tomb. A magnificent war banner with a standard is placed above it. That must be the hero's relic. The crew marvels at the treasure in awe. Simply amazing! But then a bunch of Imperial Guards bust in. The searchers must have notified them of this location. Thanks for clearing all the obstacles for us. Now allow us to burn that hero's relic. The Empire will persist. You can allow them to destroy this treasure. And once again, we are better prepared. Ah, oh, at least we get that one, uh, you know, supply back from uh, this. Ah, uh, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys are easily terrified and easily saddened. And what about this big fellow? He's easily saddened as well. Uh, so should we just do the lecture here immediately or you were easily terrified right you guys can't really get to us okay so if we go here and terrify you that's not enough to kill you quite yet uh, but if Harry goes here and enrages you after that that is okay can you get here Charles and terrify this guy out of here no I'll just terrify him as much as you can we'll get our grit up immediately which is good and uh, you terrify this one. We just oh no no let's let's terrify this one. This one is scarier. Okay, and then we'll use Harry here. We'll run over here and enrage him out of here. Yeah, you're a clown. Get out of here. Right, and these guys cannot get to us yet. Good. So we're just gonna get one attack. And yeah, he's just gonna hit hit Charles, we don't really care. Charles is a tough man, he can take it. Okay, and now Agatha, you wanna do that lecture, so take one step forward, lecture these guys. Yep, and Charles, oh, what do you get? Oh yeah, I get the glow, plus nine speech power, nice. Uh, Cannot group insult these guys from here. What if you go over here? Who can you group insult? Can could you get all of these? No. Uh, but uh, you know, group insult these guys here, and then we're gonna have Harry take a piercing shot from here. Oh, I can't hit that last guy. Oh, it'd be awesome to hit that last guy. But at least we're getting one guy down, so that is good enough, I think. And this guy should go after Charles. And come on, we still have that plus 25% grit, so we could... Yeah, we could get some misses. Good. Ooh, that area of effect attack is... It's never nice. And come on, miss, 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 miss. Ah, no misses, but it doesn't really matter, it would seem. Okay, you could deride someone. Could you deride this guy? Yes, you can deride this guy. We don't want those area of effect attacks happening, so deride him. Get that tiny bit of healing going on. Uh, you were weak to being saddened, but none of us can really sadden anymore. Uh, just enrage, no, terrify this fellow out of here. Yes, it is truly horrifying. Uh, Harry come here you enrage the leader out of here and then there's only that one guy left so he can't really do anything to us we are going to win this easily oh he turned into provocative as well ah it's something that I have smelly underwear no I don't 
If you talk like this, you're going to meet me dressed up like a mugger. The dark alleys in the Andes here. And you're also gonna get a C minus. No, <laughs> that's not the C minus thing. What was the C minus thing? I think it probably was the Surfy as well. It just has a couple of different things. Yeah, and we broke their minds. Nice. You'd have to be an utter moron to destroy a national treasure like that. Charles and the crew have made that perfectly clear, and the soldiers are confused. We are such pathetic excuses for Incan warriors. We almost destroyed the pride of our nation. I need to go home and rethink my patriotism. And you need to go home with the treasure. Grab the hero's relic. So we get the hero's banner in remembrance of the people's resolve. We could get six studies. We could get more statuses from secrets. We don't have any secrets. Our current highest L level engineer gains. We don't have an engineer, or do we? Like, you might have one engineer. No, you have a naturalist. And I think we're gonna have to take this. Your current highest level diplomat gains plus three campaign and plus three study on diplomat spins. Amazing! A fantastic treasure indeed. If you show it to the people of Wilcabamba, the last city of heroes, they will surely be grateful. They were worried the legendary treasure might have been lost forever. Better visit the city of heroes. What an adventure! Incan tombs, a chase to a forbidden treasure. This journey will surely impress the good ladies and gentlemen at the renowned Explorers International Society. Okay, so they want us to go back to this place. No, this place. Uh, we could actually go there and there. Yeah, and then we'll just... Uh, Use the movement thing to get here. Uh, we'll go he Hmm. Okay, so let's think about this for a while. We could go here and then just here and then move here. Back here, come here. Yeah, that's gonna cost us four collects, but we don't really need those collects, do we? Yeah, let's just go here first, and then come here, see if they have something to say to us in this city. Uh, travel here, do the thing they want, uh, then travel back here and continue from here. Okay, that sounds like a good idea. You arrive in a small Incan village. Charles is not sure whether this particular village is with or against the Emperor. Let's tread carefully. Charles notices a statue in the distance, then the villagers greet you. Good day, friends! At least that wholly depends on your opinion of the Emperor. They're expecting an answer, you don't know which. Time for a gamble. Uh, let's say, because they have a, maybe, maybe, maybe that's a statue of the Emperor, and they like the Emperor, but we actually want to fight them so that we can get the supply. So let's say that the Emperor is the worst type of vermin. The villagers are infuriated that you cannot see the Emperor for what he truly is, so we are better prepared again. I mean, we just want to fight them to get the supplies. And all this good, other good stuff as well. Okay, there's four villagers. You guys are weak to being saddened, so Agatha, come here, lecture these guys. Right, and Charles, you run here and do a group insult that probably gets rid of these guys. Yes. Uh, okay, these guys can move here. So, Harry, you move a tiny bit closer and focus. Okay, next turn. Right, Harry, come here. Enrage this fellow. Like, we could have gotten rid of both of them with a piercing shot, but uh, we really don't want to do that, because we don't want to end this battle aggressively. Okay, rest of you fellows, come here. Agatha, just come here. Charles, over here, please. Thank you. Oh! Damn! This guy hit hard! Like, the, the soldiers didn't hit that hard when they hit us. Oh, then again, that this is Harry they're hitting, so Harry doesn't usually get hit. We'll just terrify this one out of here. Yeah, C minus for you for that hit. And yay, the extra supplies. This is what we did this battle for. Wow, okay, okay, your opinion is the right one. The villagers turn away and let you go on your way. Right, so let's head to this village here. Oh my, what a dark and troubled place. Local guards are everywhere and the streets are teeming with the bones of the dead. The villagers look very afraid. They seem to be in a lot of trouble. A militia leader greets you. Welcome to Laktapa, brave travelers. I am Juana Hatun, head of the guard. Every day we are attacked by hordes and skeletons. Of course, that sorry excuse for an emperor refuses to help us. There are a few options for Charles to consider. Uh, can we help this city? Yes, we really, need, we really need some help. A vile necromancer is terrorizing the city. She has been sending wave after wave of skeleton warriors because we won't accept her as our princess. The emperor isn't doing anything to stop her, the lazy bum. Please go confront the necromancer. A necromancer? Exciting. 
Fantastic! Her Temple of Death is well hidden, so I'll mark her Temple of Death for you. <laughs> also, don't be friendly to her. She doesn't take kindness kindly. Alright, continue. Over there! Ah, we've already been there! So, uh, is there something else we can do for you? Uh, trade some baubles for collect. Let's see what that could do. This city isn't very active, but you can still trade baubles for collect. It's something. So, so we get six collect. Oh, okay, right. Is there something else we can do for you? Uh, let's travel along the NDN roads to uh, the City of Heroes. And we're back here. So, uh, what can you do for you? Uh, about the Heroes Relic. Yes, is the Heroes Relic safe? We got it! Extraordinary! Who would have thought it to be such a beautiful banner? The legends tell us that those who find the hero's relic are destined to keep it. Just allow us to copy the patterns and then bear it proudly like the hero you are. I am humbled. Thank you. We will fight with double ferocity. Thank you so much for this. There are a few options for Charles to consider. Uh, let's actually leave. Because just one step this way. Nice. And then we can go here and here. Okay, good. Or maybe this... Uh, they might want us to go back over here, so... Okay, let's think about this for a while. It'll take one, two, two steps for us to get over here. One, two, three, four. Uh, I think we'll probably have enough supplies to do all of this. This must be the, the temple of death. An eerie aura emanates from uh, from the it. <laughs> the city of Laktapata has been troubled by the necromancers who are living inside the temple. This is going to be very dangerous. Is the crew ready to face the dangers of the undead and bring peace to Laktapata? Onwards, go and face the necromancer. We can do this. The crew approaches the stairs of the Temple of Death. Harry bravely steps forward. Adventure awaits inside. Onward. Behind the entrance awaits a long corridor. Skeletal motifs decorate the walls. The place looks relatively peaceful, but when Agatha makes one wrong move... Uh-oh! Traps! Not just one, but dozens of them. Agatha is lucky she hasn't already been torn to pieces. It will be impossible to pass this sea of knives. Only by reverse engineering the mechanics will you have a chance of disabling the traps. Uh This crew member becomes wounded. Minus 50% spirits. Ah, uh, but we're... I, I, uh, I don't care about losing that result, but we're just gonna have to roll this and hope for the best. Come on. Just for once. Ah. Agatha thought to have disabled traps when they returned to their resting positions, but one wrong step and WHAM! The traps reactivate, but now with Agatha in the middle. By pure chance, Agatha managed to find a hidden emergency switch, but not after being severely hurt. The corridor goes on for a little while. At the end, a massive door stands before you with a chilling wind slipping through beneath it. You don't have to guess twice what's behind it. Open the door. What a bizarre room. The place is dark and filled with quasi-animated skeletons. It seems they're guarding an emerald skull in the middle of the room. You thought you'd be facing the necromancer, but maybe this is the source of the undead. Take a closer look. It's clear you need to steal that emerald skull. While the skeletal guards don't react or notice you, they do react when you get closer to the emerald skull. They're basically glorified traps, but with so many of them that they can cause serious trouble. Maybe someone good at stealing might be able to pilfer the emerald skull. And Harry tries to steal it. And come on, Harry. You gotta do this for me. Come on, Harry. Do it for me. Do it for me. Do it for me. Oh, thank you, Harry. What a masterful display. Harry roguishly evades all the half-sentient skeleton guards and snatches the emerald skull. All the skeletons suddenly collapse. You did it! But wait. The emerald skull starts glowing hot. It flies out of Harry's hand and starts to transform. In the rumble, you hear a voice. Ah! What's this? Death is also a boss to goddess! Why, a cute little girl appears out of nowhere. Are you lost, little girl? Shut your mouth! I'm not a kid! I'm the godly princess necromancer! Respect me as your superior! Bow down to your princess and give me candy! You shut your own mouth, you spoiled little brat! Ha ha! Yes, finally! Someone who respects me! Scold me! I am worthy of your wrath! This kid needs some serious parenting. Defend yourself! So, that's a rank 4 encounter. That This, this might... Not go well. Okay, of course we can try to go this deviously. So you guys are weak to being impressed. That is unfortunate. And you are immune to all kinds of positive stuff. You're totally immune to impressed, which is kind of unfortunate. Okay, so 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 we'd like need to defeat the boss. These guys. 
are probably pretty easily taken down. Uh, let's see, let's go here first, see if we can group insult. Like, I'm thinking this getting some space here is probably the best thing, so let's group insult these. Uh, let's have Agatha come here and lecture these. Okay, you're taking all of them down with this, it would seem good. Right, okay, you can get to hit Charles, that is unfortunate. We'll have Harry walk over here and focus. Right. Oh, wow. 86 speech power! What in the world? Okay, Harry, probably should have put you in some place where you could actually do something better. Like... Okay, come on, Necrom Necromancer. Come close, come come as close as you can, please. Because if we can get Harry to attack you, it would be very, very nice. We can't, actually, can we? If we get him here and do a piercing shot, that'll hit. Ooh. This is kind of scary because I'm feeling like they're gonna gang up on Harry then. Uh, we just got to do this. Right, Agatha, you come here and you terrify this skeleton out of here. Yeah, chills down the spine. I'm thinking because this guy's blue that he's probably got some sort of area of effect attack. But I still think that we need to put uh, Charles here. Can you deride this? Oh, you can deride this guy out of here. Good, 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 good. Do that. Yeah, he's foaming with rage. Okay, so now we're closer to the necromancer here. Oh, no, 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 don't, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, fumble. Nice. You guys probably aren't very good at being this thing. Okay, don't have, don't attack, don't, I'm, oh man. Right, so, 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 well, we're just gonna have to try to do as much damage as we can here. Okay, Charles, you terrify. Wait, what did, what was the effect of terrified? Attack power is decreased. Harry, you come down here. We're gonna have Agatha come here and terrify some more. Okay, and uh, then Harry, you enrage. Okay, and as long as we stay alive, I'm pretty sure we're going to finish this next turn. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no, I'm feeling that Agatha, Agatha is gonna go down if the Necromancer attack. What? You did a buff! <laughs> Silly Necromancer. Now you are gonna get ruined! Okay, okay, okay. Yep. And then one more enraging from here. And she is... she lost it. We broke her mind. There she goes. After all the verbal fighting, the necromancer grows tired. Maybe... maybe I'm a weak brat. Maybe I'm not worthy of ruling these lands. Maybe my tyrant mind is only half that my father's was. Slowly she moves towards an empty throne. Wait a minute. The world has changed. I need to meditate on my evil game. The next time I am summoned, I will be a tyrant, the likes of which the world has never seen. Thank you for taking me seriously and motivating me to become more evil. She turns into an inanimate corpse. It's weird. She just seems to respect you and the Emerald Skull is yours for the taking. Time to leave this place. Yeah, mm, way better than the Crystal Skull. So we can get two secrets. We can get more research from study. We get more research from discovery. And we get more research and gold from this discovery. I think we're going to take that plus two research from study. Because that's quite a lot of extra study. What an adventure that was! Traps, treasures, and even a necromancer. Not only have you performed your duty as an explorer, duty performed your duty as an explorer. There's quite a lot of uh, like uh, typos. Well, I think mean, there's quite a lot of text in this game, so some typos are to be expected, I think. But you've also done the people of Laktapata a great favor. You should return to them and report your victory. Okay, so they actually want us to go back there. So we get one, two, three, 
four, that will use all of our stuff. And then if we'll move back to here, we're gonna need one, two, three movements. Ah! Oh wait, if we just... We can just go back here and use the right. This is probably the fastest way. Yeah, 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 let's just use the Llama Express here. Uh, travel along the Andean roads to... Laktapata. Laktapata. Yes, and uh, we'll talk about the Necromancer. Yes, will the Necromancer finally stop terrorizing us? The Necromancer will bother you no more. That's fantastic. Please accept these gifts of gold and knowledge for your trouble. It may bring you ever-increasing renown. Thanks. Now we can finally start rebuilding the city. Maybe in a decade or two we might even be ready to face the Emperor himself. Hey, let's leave this plague place and start heading this way. We find nothing of interest here. Okay, and go over here. Ah, oh, come on, we need these supplies now. The crew accidentally trespasses on a military camp. Dozens of soldiers angrily face the crew. This doesn't bode well for you. Ah, uh, the crew attempts group diplomacy. Well, we gotta try this. Like, I don't care about losing that one resolve, really, even if we do. But four supplies would just be so great. But come on, 20% chance that never happens for me. I don't, I don't, I don't succeed in small chances like that. Charles thought it was a good idea to command the commanders around. Needless to say, the captains did not appreciate the lack of respect. The crew is chased off by dozens of soldiers. The crew has to flee and is seriously shaky. And no, come on, you can't! You gotta be kidding me! Okay, one, two, three, four. Hey, we could buy, we could buy supplies from here, right? Right, right, right. Okay, so we'll just go here. Okay, and uh, continue. Yes, 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 we'll travel along the Andean roads to the Changle trade post. Like, we don't care about losing Collect. Collect is it's just money. Right, and then we can uh, get some supplies. We'll buy four supplies for one resolve. Okay, no, thank you. I think we're gonna wanna keep that three resolve. Uh, and let's just start heading this way then. Okay, go over here. From distance, you hear people applauding a loud voice. And the winner of the spinning competition between Mr. Templeton and Lola the Llama is Mr. Templeton! Hmm, I cannot remember entering a spinning contest. Suddenly, Charles hears a familiar voice. Cheerio, nephew! Fancy meeting you here! You must be proud of your uncle for winning this momentous reward. I brought honor to our family name. Uncle William? Charles is incredibly happy to see his uncle. It makes them both reminiscent of the times they spent at sea. Oh, Charles, do you remember that time we were scrapping the deck and the cuttlefish landed on your head? Your face was black for days. Ha 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 ha. They both burst into laughter. Blimey! After recollecting a lot of fond memories, Charles bids his uncle farewell. All the while, Harry wonders if spinning like a llama is really a relevant skill. Okay, and we can go here and then we'll just head to the... Okay, this is empty. But we'll just still go there, see if we can we find nothing of interest here. Okay, and then we'll head to the last spot. The palace, treasure guarded by dicta dict dictatorial emperor must lie within. Once you face the emperor, the expedition will come to an end. Are you ready to enter the palace? Onwards! Of course, the palace is heavily guarded. Bummer. The crew regroups to plot a rogue roguish diversion. It looks like it would be a tough challenge. Harry will do a sneak by, because Harry is awesome. Great, with some clever sneaking, Harry passes the guards and opens a side window. This creates a route for the rest of the crew to safely bypass all those guards. The crew can enter the palace undetected after Harry's roguish maneuver. Clever move, Harry. The crew walks down a high hallway that is decorated with the statues and carvings of the undisputed Emperor of the Incas. The atmosphere is getting heavy. Charles knows that, all you, that you will face the Emperor right after opening the next door. Open the door. There he is, uh, the Emperor, surrounded by his Imperial Guard. The Pretenders, they're here to overthrow your beloved leader and destroy the Incan lands. Easy, Tiger, are we jumping to conclusions here? Uh, we just want to treasure... No, wait, we support the Great Emperor. <laughs> we don't need to overthrow you. A hard attack will blubber face. Of course I'm gonna do this, this gives us the most things and it's a special thing for Charles, so... The Emperor is not impressed. I will have none of this! Warriors, round them up for punishment! Though he looks like a formidable force, you will need to break his concentration. Try your worst! Okay, and of course we're gonna dare try to do this deviously, get all the good things, but... So, you are weak to being enraged, so... So, that's uh, is a thing, we know exactly what to do. Go here and group insult. Actually, I think I wanna go here and group insult you guys. 
Oh, you get quite a lot of... You get quite a lot of life there, though. Or spirit. 300. That's just probably pretty normal for a boss. Like, now I'm thinking... <sighs> okay, these guys are gonna attack Charles, right? So I'm gonna put... Uh, Harry over here. And focus. And then I'm gonna have Agatha come over here. Uh, are you out of the range of this fellow? No, you're not. So you need to take one more step forward. And could you lecture all of this? No, you couldn't. can't. Oh, but you could almost get rid of these two. But you could get rid of one guy if you just used your terrify. Actually, let's just go back. If you go here and terrify you can get rid of one guy so I think that's the best thing to do here yeah let's just get rid of this guy yeah he's been a bad boy you're gonna get punished right, next turn I'm going to with Ag the first thing I'm gonna do with Agatha is I'm gonna use the impress on the chief here or the Emperor and then Harry is gonna enrage him okay I'm, I'm glad you guys are just being oh that wasn't a good thing right uh, but yeah you are gonna impress because that gives less speech defense for you like I don't care that you are resistant to it just making you impressed is the most important thing and then Harry with his massive speech power of 86 is gonna come and enrage you yeah 180 damage massive Okay, and then, oh, Charles is going to deride you, and you are going to be so pissed that you can't continue this fight. Well, that was a lot simpler than I was expecting. But, you know, good strategy or good tactics, they'll take you far. Holy smokes, you convinced the Emperor he's bad for the people. That's a first. You're right, I'm a lousy despotic tyrant and nobody would want to have diplomatic relations with me. This country deserves better. I will sign an all for a new president to be elected. I will also compensate with my, you, you with my magnificent garb. Now you get to a boat to a tropical island with the treasury. A victory for the Incan people. We get uh, the Emperor's garb, which... I'm gonna... Mm, yeah, study, more study for rogues and also you have more rogue than you have survivalists so we're gonna take this plus two study at the end of each expedition for rogue Charles takes a place at the Incan council that will determine the future leader of the Incan people it becomes clear that a new and independent leader must be chosen Charles would volunteer but this is a matter for the Incan peoples still the council is eager here if Charles has a candidate um <laughs> what about restoring the royal line with the necromancer <laughs> Charles doesn't think twice and with some occult words summons the necromancer. The council is terrified. Who would summon such an ancient curse? Hello, little princess. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! It's time, isn't it? I finally get rule over the Incas. Bow down before me, slaves! I owned you before I was even born! Well, it seems the problem of finding a certain and suitable monarch has been solved. We're done here. As you're about to leave pal the palace, the necromancer stops you. Wait, Charles! I, I want to thank you for this opportunity. Please take the sacred dagger. It is used to cut out the hearts of maidens and create perfect pizza slices. Thanks again for believing in me. I will be the best tyrant the world has ever seen. Thank you. And we get another treasure. Nice. Sacred dagger. Smells like maiden's blood. Uh, gain an extra encounter if you resolve an encounter devious. Sure. The crew leaves the palace. That was quite the adventure. Toppling a government and everything. Charles must admit it was pretty fun. It wouldn't surprise Charles if this became a trend one day. But the world has not yet fully ex has not been fully explored yet. You take your discoveries and get ready to live. Back to London. So that was the Andean adventure explored. Of course, we did it deviously. And how many treasures did we get from here? Only four. We get some extra stuff. Eight extra study for this thing. That's pretty nice. And of course, our capacity increases. Whoa, quite a lot of renown. I think we're are we? Yeah, we're already at second place. So there's still two more expeditions to go and now we are a slice color okay that's nice and what do we want to open I think we want to you know what I just want to open the new the entourage halls because Charles wants specialist entourage so we'll just try to get as many specialist entourage as we can 
Right, so let's uh, first use our research. Uh, where do we want to go? I think we're going to go here for the two supplies first. So, uh, naturalist, engineer, archaeologist gain plus one study when they success on adventure wheel. You are naturalist. We could, like, we could make Harry into an engineer, maybe. Oh, we can't, of course. Ah, uh, this was the thing that gave the thing, right? Well, we'll take that extra supplies. And then I think we're gonna unlock engineering. Right then, we'll just try to get the enter for Okay, specialists. Is there anyone here? Doubles original. St you know, we're gonna upgrade this and take Shadow Master 54 here. And we get more gold from campaigns now. Nice. Uh, let's go to Madrid's palace, check out the specialists. Uh, level 4 specialist. Okay, mm. let's check the Turkish bots first, that wasn't that interesting. Uh, diplomat generous, are you generous? You are not, we could get you to be generous. Or archaeologist symbolism. Mm. Let's actually check the specialists from the San Fran saloon first. Wait, huh? What did I? Did I? Oh, did I take the wrong th thing in the th thing? I think I did. Because this isn't a full entourage hall, this new place here. Oh, at least it's got the specialist, so we can get athletes, stamina, we can get survivalist cooking and get gold from study. Hmm. Diplomat, right? Ah, oh, what do I want? I think I want to get the level 4 survivalist perk there, so we'll take James Cook here and he'll teach uh, Charles cooking. Right, and we get more status from campaigns. Nice, and I don't think we can afford any more of this specialist. No, so let's just take a. a oh, we can't even get a student! Oh, well. Oh, we're getting, but we're getting some campaign from here, so nice! Let's do this and get ourselves a new student immediately. Yeah, let's take a student and then we'll just uh, take enough uh, research that we can uh, get some more research opened. Okay, we can take the next research, that thing is going to be the apparatus artists here, so... Get more gold when Harry succeeds on the wheel, that's nice. And then we'll just uh, get more research from inside. Okay, we got the research we needed, so let's get three more cargo supplies. Huh, and also we got quite a lot of more status from there, so let's just take the student. Sure. I don't think we need to use those two insights here because we're not going to get enough for research so we'll just wait for... Oh, we got 16 supplies already! Crikey! Okay, uh, let's go to the store... Actually, let's go to this uh, downtown shops because this one gives this so... Book of Bedazzling, Impress, Book of Confidence, Encourage, Book of Joy... Don't you have books of... Yeah, Book of Horror, Book of Sadness! Uh. I'm thinking that this actually increases the power of only the actual skills, so I want the Book of Terrify for... Is there a Book of Rage? Yes, there is. Hmm. Do we have enough? If we upgrade, do we have enough? Yeah, I think we have enough money to buy, if we upgrade, to buy these uh, Master Books for everyone. So you get a Master Book of Horrors. Uh, you don't really need that diesel guy. You get a master book of rage, and uh, Agatha. You also get a master book of horrors. Master book of horrors. Master book of horrors. Okay. And could we get? I mean, we could use the. We could use this for money, but I don't think we need to use any money. So, what's the next expedition? The merged island. Now we did the emerged island last time, so I don't really want to go there. So I think we're gonna head to the Transylvanian region, but that's gonna be in the next episode. 
I'm Luka Kapp, this has been Renowned Explorers International Society with the More to Explore DLC. Goodbye world, thanks for watching, see you next time.